The ghosts felt the heat from the rising flames. The dead littered the ground. Bloodied and terrified, a Mongol called out for help. Shukwatar betrayed us. He believes we are too weak. He'll kill us. Kept over their own corpses to attack the ghosts. Mongol's hand clasped a scroll outlining the path of Sukhubatar's Atar had found a way to create Onryo, vengeful spirits. They followed his every order. Mongol, bandit, and samurai alike fell under Sukhubatar's control. Ghost followed the path until they came across a small, quiet village. But the flashes of lightning revealed they were not alone. Puddles of blood darkened the pure white snow leading out of the village. Ghosts found an unfinished Ofura, an amulet meant to keep the spirits away.
bloodstains led toward the window, as if someone had crawled there to escape. Clasped tightly in the man's hand was a blood-stained scroll, covered in strange symbols. They were linked in some way to the spirits. In the distance, the ghosts heard the sounds of a Mongol patrol approaching. Ghosts watched as spirits of slain samurai emerged from the fog to fight the Mongols. The bodies of the dead Mongols bore the insignia of Sukhbata. The ghosts were on the right track. Sukhbata sacrificed allies and friends alike to increase the number of spirits under his control. He desired an army compelled to obey his every whim. One that knew no fear and could never retreat. The ghosts finally caught up to Sukhbatar's forces. They moved into the burning town, eager to free the spirits 
from his grasp. Ghosts sensed overwhelming suffering from a nearby building cloaked in fog. Chanting wafted from the nearby docks, obscured deep in the fog.
remaining villagers, mangled and broken, were left to rot in a net like fish. The fog around the docks floated slowly down the river. by the slaughter of the village. The spirits vanquished, the fog faded away. <laughs> Suddenly, Sukhbatar's voice boomed throughout the village. Come, ghosts. Once you are dead, I will display your bodies as a warning to others that even the ghosts are helpless before Sukhbatar. Heavy footfalls approached. The ghosts were steady. <laughs> Sukhbatar's dreadful warriors had covered his escape. The ghosts moved on from the decimated village. Knowing more would suffer the same fate if Sukhbatar wasn't found and defeated. <laughs> 